Hello and welcome to Premier Scene, I'm Mike Jonas. Today we find ourselves asking the thing we most like to be remembered for as we meet the cast at the special screening of the British comedy Legacy. Kids, eh? I'm so fortunate to be able to see this last night and uh, I, I, I really found it such a, a feel-good film. It's so, such, such, you know, sort of good spirits in there, you know, inspiring moments, That's you know. To hear, to um, I, I actually put it very much on par with, uh, it reminded me very much of an in-betweeners uh, oh, sort of like fantastic. associated piece yeah. in ways. Um, how, did you, how did you come to, be get, uh, to become involved with the project? Well, I mean, uh, I've, I've written uh, a number of films with uh, with Noel Clark and the Unstoppable team. Um, myself and Mark have also worked on Storage 24 with Noel. Uh, I, I also worked, I, I wrote and produced and starred in The Knot with Noel as well. Um, so we kind of we had a little have a little writing team sort of going. And then once uh, Noel came up with uh, the idea of doing a party movie with Universal, he approached approached me to come up with uh, an idea. And myself and Noel knocked around an idea while he was actually in LA. Uh, working on Star Trek 2 um, and um, yeah and so we and, and Legacy was born so um, I remember on, I was on the flight on the way over sort of sketching out ideas and uh, I came up with the name Legacy on the plane over the Atlantic and um, and that was uh, and, and so yeah and when, when we got there we sort of fleshed it out a little bit came back and worked started working with Mark Small the co-writer co-director um, and we worked out all the all the fine details and, um, and really, that was it, and that was the that was the process, and it was a lot of back and forth between myself, Mark, and Nolan, and, and then yeah, and that was uh, Noel guiding us, and we were writing, and there we go, and, that, and so Legacy was born. Now, as I understand, obviously you managed to shoot this entire thing in 18 days, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, and obviously you've been paired up with Mark as well, yes. uh, who, uh, this is the first time d direction for it him, is, is it? It's the first, first time feature directors for the both of us, so we're obviously, you know, amazingly grateful that they took a chance on, on us that we, we would be able to pull it off. Um, bearing in mind it was such a tight shoot, um, you know, they didn't have a great budget to stretch, so we really needed to have all of our... Uh, you know, all of our marbles about us in order to... to I think it was probably, we, we got on average about four hours sleep a night over the 18 days. And so, yeah, literally, it was, uh, yeah, you know, but the energy of the set sort of keeps you going and the kids sort of kept you going. So it was, uh, and an experience I probably wouldn't forget. Get waved at by people, it's weird. <laughs> Um, obviously, uh, be, being the screenwriter and the director, obviously that's that's a marvellous combination anyway because you really know the characters, you know how you want to go about and push them in what direction. Um, you know, w was there any sort of like allowance for uh, uh, improv or, you know, any ideas coming from the actors themselves? Yeah, I mean... We, look, as directors, we kind of uh, both Mark and myself also work as actors, and, and we. Uh, Mark is not here tonight because he's on stage as an actor. Um, so yeah, I, I think he's just. Or he tells me that I think he might be just avoiding. But um, but yeah, so we kind of. So when we sort of hire people, and we've we've been through an extensive casting process. Kind of, it's nice to let the actors embody it and show us what they can do, and then, and then it's easier, easier for us to just move them in a slight direction. So, yeah, if they come up with things, it's great to go with it. And, and uh, most of the things, obviously, are scripted. But yeah, if they if they come up with things, we're happy to go with it because it's because uh, it keeps it keeps everything sort of spontaneous and keeps it alive and keeps it funny. Yeah, and this is the thing, and it's yeah, and, you, and that's what you keep on trying to find how much you can push push the sort of envelope, and uh, and you've got a limited time to do it as well. So it's like, yeah, great, right, we're moving on. <laughs> Forgive me, but this is going to be the biggest party of all time. Listen, don't hate me because you didn't make an effort. I made an effort. Yep. Yeah. Earrings. How did you actually become in the process of this? Um, we know... What really drew me to this is, like, just how much of a fun film it is, you know? It's just a really feel-good movie, and it, it represents, you know, teenagers and, and young kind of kids in, in a really positive light. And that's what kind of drew me to the whole script and, and the project. We'll have to see, really. um, obviously, yeah, it's all about close friendships. You know, your 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 team before other people that share, or pretty much share the same screen time as you, as yourself. Um, did you have any, any sort of time to prepare for this with the others before filming shot? Well, I mean, we all bonded pretty quickly. You know, we, we got to meet each other and hang out for a couple of days and stuff. And we just kind of became fast friends really, really quickly. And I think you can see that in the film, the, the connection that we have. So, yeah. Um, are, you, are you currently working on anything else at the moment? Yeah, um, I'm about to start shooting um, a TV show called DC Legends of Tomorrow. 
It's like a spin-off of sort of like The Flash and Arrow. So it's that whole kind of Greg Berlanti universe. Um, so I'm really excited to start that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Crow, anybody who's anybody turns up there. Your parties, they are legendary, man. I'm sure it'll be a night you'll never forget. Go home. Boy. Meet me back in the club and we're like, none of this ever happened, yeah? Unlike all your other castmates, uh, you obviously had a completely different process of how you become involved. Can you can you tell me a little bit about that? I did. Yeah. Um, fortunately for me, Legacy decided to open up their casting process to a na nationwide search, so they did open auditions around the country. Uh, I went to the Manchester audition, um, and then got called back to London, and then eventually got the part. And if they hadn't decided to do that. I would never have been here, so I'm very, very grateful to uh, all of the team, as I keep telling them, and I think it's actually annoying them now. <laughs> Not at all. Thanking them, just to let them know. <laughs> no, 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 you can never, never say it one too many times. Um, obviously, now you've had a chance to sort of like experience acting and stuff like that. Uh, what's your over, overall, uh, you know, thoughts on the process? Oh, I just, I love it. I really love the whole thing. I just, I, I want to keep going. I want to keep doing more. Yeah, I just can't get enough, really. Got the bug. <laughs> have you uh, have you actually put yourself forward for anything else at the moment? Um, I The good thing about Legacy is that it gave me an agent. Um, and the good thing about Legacy coming out now is that I'll have a showreel. So I'll get to be put forward for much more. And hopefully this is the start of my career. Um, I'm, I'm curious to explore something. Obviously, I, I when I watched the film last night, uh, Obviously, your, your on-screen sister, who was played by Olivia, um, she, uh, I'm, I'm not going to give it away from the camera because I want people to be as surprised as I was. Um, w w was that general embarrassment or, or was it like, you know, dealing in that sort of nature, like sort of when you was working with her? Uh, sorry, what do you mean? Uh, well, obviously, she, <laughs> she, she, she becomes nude. So, uh, obviously, you're, you know, not coming from an... Yes, did, was, was, was you comfortable with that? Was you able to, to work through it quite comfortably? I think the fact that it wasn't sexualized nudity is what made it easier. Um, it's very much a kind of body confidence, free and easy spirit sort of nudity. Um, I mean, it was an unusual situation. It's not every day you're sat in a room with a camera and some guys behind it and people with booms and stuff and then someone walks in and they're naked. That, of course, that's going to be odd. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, I knew it was coming. I knew it was part of the film and I knew the reasons behind it as well. We've waited years for this thing. We all know what we've got to do. Damien Chase runs Crow. We need to take him out. How? I don't know. Not only are we going to have our own party, but we're going to have it the same night as the next Crow. I know it doesn't look like much, but if we clean this place up a bit, then smash. Can you tell me a little bit how you managed to get involved in the project? Um, I got involved, I mean, as, as you guys probably know, there was the open casting call that went all over the country, which was really cool, and they actually managed to find the lead girl Amy from it, which is fantastic, you know, for a first job, someone who's never done this kind of work before to get a job of this calibre, obviously, from an open audition is fantastic. Um, I got involved, I went along to one of the auditions and then got a recall, and uh, there's uh, all of the behind-the-scenes shots of uh, all of the diff... They wanted to basically blend all of the different characters together and see how we reacted with each other. And I think that there's one where we were all in the room together, but I think one of us was missing. I can't remember who it was, but it was there was four of us out of the five. And I just remember sitting there going, oh, you know, this is this is really where I want to be. I love working with these people. You know, the script that was in front of us was just fantastic, and it just felt like you know this is this is exactly what I want to be doing right now. Uh, obviously, being that the fact that you are in close proximity with four other castmates, uh, did you have to do any sort of like other preparation to, to create such a close bond? Um, not really. We, we showed up for the casting uh, crew read through and I mean that's when we sort of met each other and we were like oh I remember you from the auditions and we'd already sort of formed a bond like uh, Mikel and myself we got on really well at the auditions and we actually ended up you know keeping in touch and then we both found out we got the part and it was just fantastic. Um, but in terms of actually creating such a close bond it was that we were really lucky to be honest because you know we five complete strangers. Um, no one knew each other and then you know within a matter of days we all were kind of best mates in truth and we got on really well and it, it really did feel like I knew them all for a lifetime so it was just it was I mean you could call it fortunate but I just call it the fact that Franz over there is just a lovely guy in general. <laughs>
Now, uh, as I understand, this is the first film for you. Uh, obviously, you've done a lot of TV before. Uh, so, is there sort of like, have you enjoyed anything more from this than you have TV? Sorry, I didn't catch the last bit. Have you, have you enjoyed anything more from this as a film than you have TV? I think so in general. I mean, the, 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 there's quite a few differences from filming, uh, you know, for TV and then filming for movies. Uh, I think the main difference for me is that when you film TV, like when you do a series, you, you film it all out of order. Like when I did the, the Beaver Falls one, like we, we filmed series three, then, uh, sorry, episode four, then episode one, then episode six, and it was all over the place. Whereas with this film, it was obviously all in one thing. And it was, it was actually, in truth, a little bit easier to do the movie because you sort of keep track of where it was. Whereas when you're doing different episodes, like, you find yourself going on set and going like, oh, uh, <laughs> which episode is this? Why am I dressed like this? And they're like, oh, it's because, you know, this is a different episode. Whereas I think, yeah, I mean, on the movie, it's, uh, it's definitely a lot more fast paced on the movie. Um, we only had three weeks to actually make the film itself. But uh, no, I, I really did enjoy it. I mean, there, there was no um, differences in terms of how I felt. Like equally, I loved filming both of them, so. We can do business. Mom, I'm working Saturday, so I won't be able to go bingo. Go big or go home, right? <laughs> Wait, we don't have a name. Chuckies! No. Pum Pum Palace! No. Legacy. Hello, mate. You're not coming in. I'm on a list. What, the sex offender list? Whoa, let's bag it up. What's that an insult? Can you tell me a little bit how you managed to get involved in the project? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I just I basically got the call from my agent, and um, they showed me, took, took me the script for this particular part, and I just went for a couple of auditions and met Noel, and um, just, yeah, just really loved it, really got on with him. So um, that's, that's how I came to get the part. Yeah. Um, obviously, there, there is parts throughout the film where... Uh, Generally, for myself as a viewer, I, I was quite shocked uh, once, <laughs> once you once you once your character appears on screen. Um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say because I want it to be a surprise for like everyone as I found it. Uh, how did you prepare for for a thing like that? Um, I think the thing is to do sorry, at least the least preparation as possible. Obviously, like I wanted to get my body in good shape, which I did, but mentally I just didn't think about it and then all of a sudden you're there and doing it and you're walking around and I don't want to give too much away but you're like oh yeah this is normal I've done this before I've walked around my bedroom like this before so it's sort of it's very natural and you sort of it's not it doesn't feel like it's a taboo for me so I think it's it was important for me to to not get worry about it and just to be relaxed and hopefully that came across because that's what the character you know that's what Yasmin feels she's relaxed and it's just she doesn't care about it so yeah um. What uh, have you got anything up coming up, up, up coming at the moment at all? Um, I'm just I just finished filming the second series of Penny Dreadful, so that should be out at the moment. And I'm currently filming a new series for ITV called Beowulf, which is going to be like an epic series, which is coming out next year. Oh man! Legacy isn't just a party; it's a lifestyle. How did you actually become involved with uh, with the actual film itself? Somebody we knew who knew Noel Clark, um, we actually had a meeting with them and, and we just kind of, he said he'd want us to kind of see what we could do with a song. We didn't have very long either, we was given a, a short period of time to do it. And then yeah, we we done the song, they said that we could do it and we could be in it. Yeah. So it was fun. <laughs> Obviously you're in the film uh, at the end, it's, 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 the, it's the moment we've all been waiting for, it's the pie itself, it's, it's amazing, it's you know, out of the world and stuff like that. Um, What's it like actually sort of uh, being on film and sort of performing, you know, in that way? It's really weird, isn't yeah, it? It yeah. was the first time for us to be singing a song that we've got in a film and to be performing that song. So it was kind of, it was like a show, but it wasn't like a show. It yeah. Was, yeah it was and the audience were really good, the crowd yeah. were really into yeah, it, yeah, so yeah. that was a lot of fun as well. They kind of yeah. eased us into it and made it a lot more natural. So. It was actually like a party. To yeah, it was. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What is your name? <coughs> Roland Bark. Roland Bark. Oh, yes, you are. <laughs>